The mean and the median are numbers that are intended to give you some idea of what your probability distribution looks like. By themselves, they do a very imperfect job of that. And what they're lacking is a measure of how spread out the data is. So if you look at two probability distributions on the interval from zero to one, you could have a probability distribution that looks like this. We'll discuss such probability distributions in a bit. They're called uniform. And the mean of this probability distribution is also its median. It's one half. And you could have another probability distribution where the mean and the median are both one half. a probability distribution that looks like that. And of course, although the mean and the median are the same in both cases, these probability distributions don't look anything like each other. And the difference is in how spread out the data is. If you select a number at random over here, the number you select is probably going to be a near one half because this is where the area under the curve is um, isolated. If you select a number here, it's just as likely to be near the endpoints as it is to be near one half. This is expressed in two different ways the variance and the standard deviation. And these definitions are intimately related to one another. You have a probability distribution on some interval. This could be a finite interval, or this could be infinity and or this could be negative infinity. So finite or infinite. And we define the variation of the probability distribution to be the integral from A to B of X minus the mean squared times P of X DX. And the bigger the variance, the more spread out your data is. I don't want to talk about this in depth here. We have classes for that kind of thing. 
But briefly speaking, the reason we have a square here is to prevent positive and negative differences from canceling each other out. If we didn't have that square, then this probability distribution would have a variance of zero. The mean would be here, and sometimes this would be positive, and other times it would be negative. If you're here, this difference is positive. If you're here, the difference is negative. And the positive and negative terms would cancel each other out. The square makes everything positive and stops that from happening. But the downside of that is that the unit or the units of the variants are not the units of X. So if, for example, X X is time in hours, then the units of the variance would be hours squared. And it's not really clear what to that to me. We therefore define the standard deviation. The standard deviation is also a measure of how spread out the data is. And it's defined in terms of the variance. How can we take hours squared and get hours? The standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. So now, if X is a time in hours, the standard variation is also measured in hours, which is more intuitive.